goodness. That's honestly like what this is about. You know, it's just we're just conversating. We're just honestly. having chill ass conversations. This man really has this review like prepped. No, he's ready. He's like hella ready. No, I'm not gonna go all the way in since you said don't do it. I'm doing it home. Because I want to I wanna watch. Yeah, what is <laughs> My man is focused, bro. He's ready. Bro, he really he really wants to break this movie down. I'm I'm really interested in the seeing as to why he did he didn't like it. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna like I'm not I'm I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop chastising him because he didn't like the new Halloween movie. I'm gonna stop chastising him. But uh hello, this is uh T- TSN TV. I don't know which one of you three came nah. up with that name, but it was definitely better than nah. mine. Yeah. Okay. So TSN. TV. I'm, the, I'm the name guy. Yeah. He's the. Uh, that's that's the name guy. That's Chaos <laughs> OD, the name person. <laughs> I come up with the names because like everybody I'm else gonna, can't. I'm just gonna take it over again. Hey guys, welcome to TSN TV. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Do we get a redo like that? <laughs> nah. I, <laughs> I just took it from him. I already it's threw the hand. I already threw the hands, dude. So what are you doing? You gotta keep going. What does that mean? Put him down. I, just put him down. I'm just saying, dude. It's, okay. it's what we do. I always want to throw hands. And, anyway, anyway uh, we uh, we we saw spooky things this weekend. Yes. Did spooky things. And we got into some some spooky uh, items that uh, we would like to uh, we would like to purchase. The dude dude skeletal shoes, aka these uh, Nike skeletal shoes in the corner. Yeah. The corner this. They way. do look pretty cool. Like this They're is actually sick. my first time really looking at them, and you know they look pretty cool. Uh, aside from the epileptic seizure that they give you <laughs> the on their website yeah, when no. they show you this shoe. <laughs> no, I saw Jesus that and I was Christ. like, "This is good." Like I want these. They drop tomorrow on Halloween, which is really neat. Yeah. And they are one hundred and thirty dollars. You do gotta kind of swipe them up fast because they are limited, and. The cool thing about do they glow shoe, in the dark? The bottom of the shoe glows in the dark. All right, and then fine. The, the print on it is like it looks like it's hand drawn on it. Like it's really beautiful. So I really want them. I yeah, mean, I think it's a pretty dope shoe. Like I'd be more aching to it, but like, you know, you wear a size 14 shoe. You can't get Air Force. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, wh- she knew that yeah. she knows the rules. <laughs> no. She Which know- are like to me, those are my favorite shoe. Like. Just because of how customizable they are, like yeah. if you're into art, like those are your you number can draw one them and make yeah. them look pretty cool. They're, right? they're the canvas. number one canvas. That yeah. and Converse. So Straight it's up. Like, yeah, I've seen a lot of people like, do Converse. A lot of people can't do Converse because even though they are big shoes, they're not wide enough. So if you have a wide foot, like you can't do big shoe with white. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, so it, it's a bad I want combination. these because these look like something I would have made, especially the glow in the dark at the bottom. And for spooky Halloween shoes, I'm they're pretty cool. They just announced them not so long ago, so. Yeah, they're not. They showed him, they're like, not gonna like. They're not gonna fly off the shelf. Fly off the shelf. Like you know, a bunch of these quick. I'm pretty strike. sure you could just show up and grab a pair. Honestly, well, I, I don't think, think they'll be clamoring. Not, 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 not to say that it's like, oh, there's gonna be an all day thing. But yeah, you yeah. can, you can definitely. You don't have to be up at eight fifty five to reload the website. To cop some <laughs> shoes. <laughs> so, oh so my Jesus. You don't have Jesus. to be they, up at eight fifty five. They do drop at nine a.m. Yeah. So. You don't have to be up at eight fifty five to reload the shoe to reload the website twice to get the shoe. So yeah. So, yeah, if you uh, look at them, they look like uh, like something, you know, way back in high school. Like, you used to have that one guy that was really good at drawing, like, skeletons, skeletons for and some stuff. reason. Yeah, and they yeah, did like that on the side of the them, shoe. Look, you, it Bro. definitely looks like Oh, that. with the like bones the shading and everything. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. man. Okay, okay. This is, this yeah. is dope. That, that looks pretty tight. I, yeah. wish, I wish I could partake, but. Walking around looking straight undead on boys. I'm so surprised that you knew the rules. Me? Yes, you. Oh, I, I am you. so surprised that you knew the like, rules. Like the one. Shoe Why are you surprised, Banjo? Like the day of the. I, I didn't know she was in sneakers like that. R- for real. I am. I Why? didn't. Why, Banjo? She knew. She knew mm-hmm. the lore, bro. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you got big size fourteen, size fifteen feet, bro, they you can't wear exist, no Air man. Forces. They don't exist. You can't. You those can't. day of the dead ones, though, man. Those things are sold out. Oh yeah, Kyrie Force yeah, though, like, Kyrie really, Force. really quick. They have like all the skeletons on them, and they're all. I I didn't like them. I thought they were ugly for the spooky shoes coming out with these. The carry fours and they're hella expensive, but they sold out like literally like pre-orders were like. Nah. So then these should do really good then, because yeah. these look awesome compared, especially compared to what you're showing me right yeah, there. Yeah, so that's you, you don't even need to see them, guys. And, and like, just worry about these. And like these aren't like you know the first like Halloween shoes to pop up. They had uh what was it called uh there was a movie that came out by uh the people who made like uh Kubo and the Two Strings and no, uh, what. Yeah. That's actually one of my favorite movies. I actually like it over Coco. So oh. like um that movie was actually super dope. Like Kubo and the Two Strings was dope. But uh, way better than Kubo. <clears throat> but um what was it called? Uh uh Paranorman. There the Paranorman some, ones were sick too. Yeah, they yeah, they had some shoes called some Paranorman phone posits and if you go on like any sneaker website, you will not find them. This is like a S tier super rare shoe that's like trying to that's like retailing for thousands of dollars on Whoa. resale because yeah, it's that it's that it came out 
with the it came out with the movie. Yeah, they were. They That's were really crazy. Pretty. That's crazy. And then I saw the the Air Jordan ones, the the utility pack ones, the fuzzy shoes. I yeah. kind of want them. They're ugly pattern. Like I hate the colors that they chose for them, but I really like the fact that they're fuzzy. So if you guys are into Jordans, man. Those Speaking really of nice. undead, uh, didn't we have some undead things to talk about? Yeah. Uh, well, you saw. Um, I know you dipped into Castlevania, like, season two this, this yes. past weekend. Yes. Oh, my like, God. I, I love Castlevania season one. I, I have never been, like, you know, that, like, familiar with the Castlevania lore, but that show was, like, really, really enjoyable. I, if you I, like, I like those, like, first four episodes, yeah. be, be ready. Because first off, guys, if you haven't seen it yet, season two has eight episodes in it. Ooh. So they doubled the pleasure, doubled all the fun <laughs> for season two, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it got super fresh. Uh, I actually did a full analysis. If you've seen all of season two, don't worry. We're not going to do spoilers here. I'm not going to do you guys like that. But I did do it on my channel. There will be a link in the description somewhere down there or whatever. But the season was amazing. I can't wait for you guys yeah. to see it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. If you've seen it, come and talk to me at Winburn. I got a lot to say about the season. But I think it was Fantastic, and I can't wait for more. S guys, the only spoiler you get from me is that the story is not over. Oh, I can't wait. It is not I over. I mean, I hope that's a, that's eight episodes bet. is, like, that's definitely bet, not dude. over. So I, I'm definitely ready. I'm already ready for Castlevania Season 3. Yeah, see. So I'm going to just put it to you like that. So I can knock that out tonight. The yeah. one thing that I thought was cool about it is the fact that they re they dropped the, the show and the, the game. Yeah, the game right on the same – like pretty much the same day, so it's like. So guys, go cop that uh, Symphony of the Night yeah, on I've, PS4. I've been watching yeah. my friend play and like nonstop. So now all I do is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, backstep <laughs> shield. Yeah, it's the same game, guys. So yeah, if you've already been speed running it, you can do backdash shield cancel yeah. and all and that you, other you, fly you stuff. You get quick save now, but I know a lot of people oh, that's are amazing. stubborn and they're like, "No, I'm gonna still not quick save." And I'm just like, "Hey, man, keep it true to the original of the game. <laughs> just because you got new age technology doesn't mean you have to abuse it, Linda." I've I never know. played like a Castlevania game. That's where that <laughs> ends right there. So right. like don't <laughs> d d don't chastise me for where are you going? Like don't chastise <laughs> me for, I've leave. never I've never Definitely played oh, I've, I've never played a Castlevania game, but I hear they're like Pretty good. Stone him in the streets, guys. The music, when you see him out and good. about I heard the last song from Symphony of the Night just just now him. and that song was actually O D. Yeah. That that was like the best song for an ending video game since like I mean, it's a good ending. Solid three. It's a good ending. If you play the game, I'll, like I'll, the, I'll, I'll then get, you'll get to hear it without I mean, having to go to YouTube. The two hundred percent ending. Oh, two hundred percent. Yeah, I gotta yes. beat the game front yeah. to back twice. Yes, yeah, with so both the backwards. characters, and then yeah. flip the castle upside down, and then you'll know true terror. So, so who's the? <laughs> <laughs> so who's the main protagonist for for Symphony of the Night? You got two. Go yeah. play the game. See, this is see, this is this isn't a good intro to this, bro. Yeah, it's great. I'm playing Red it's Dead, great. bro. I'm playing Red he's, Dead Redemption. He's gonna, watch go. the, he's gonna go watch the anime and be like, I know everything. Oh, uh, I will stone him <laughs> in the streets <laughs> along with everybody else she who doesn't the, like people who <laughs> claim knew, to play she, banjo. She and knew know. the plan. Yeah, she I knew the plan. Did. I was, he was gonna be like, I know yeah. everything about this. Watch as someone speed run it. He's like, I know the game. I know the game. Like I played it right. You do the back shield thing and the castle flips. <laughs> oh my God! Incoming fraud! It's gonna it should pop up on the screen right now. I need that. Okay, so, so look at the. Okay, so we're gonna go into a game right that I know very well. Right, this is this is this is what I recommend for Ooh. Halloween. This game, that one. Fuck this game! I love this game. Oh, but, oh. But, but, <laughs> what are you doing? I love this. <laughs> I love this game, but this game is actually this like awesome. this. This game is amazing. Like, okay, so like. If like I'm a fan of horror, horror like in general, so it's like for Event Horizon and The Ring and like uh like Alien, like imagine all three of those like in one package and then play Dead Space Two because that's basically what this is. This okay. this shit is like it's it's linear, it's extremely linear, but like it's just unsettling shit all the time non-stop and everything is literally out to get you in this game mm -hmm. right it was one of the first like horror games i actually like played through mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but it was just like a completely like unsettling experience and it's just like 
there were points in the game where it was just like, nah, I'm, I'm not, I can't do this right now. Cause I, I was young. I was young. You, bro, this I game, this game is. Clearly, scared. you never played Dino Crisis. This it game is OD. Me, man. That, yeah. like, oh, oh Capcom's was? Dino Crisis? Yes. <laughs> that game was, was scary as hell, man. <laughs> what game was but it? But Capcom did make another game, too. Yeah, and we all know this one. Everybody's played this yeah. at least once. You know at least, if oh, you yeah. have it, yeah, you bro. need to play it. This now. game is. Oh, this mean, game is at OD least too. one of the Resident Evils. Yeah. If, if anything. Right? But the RE remake, like the RE one remake, out of all of them, like it's been beautiful. It's been a beautiful ride replaying through the game uh, with the updated graphics, updated controls. It feels smooth as hell. It, it does, uh, and it. With the updated graphics, I feel like there's also a little bit of updated fear. Because it's no longer yeah. your pixelated, like, yeah. zombies so with the, the blood flying out. I was so scared of the dogs. Exactly. Especially oh my in that God. room where they yeah. jump out the window to get yeah, you. Yeah, bro. Like, like, no. uh, these, yeah, like uh, these controls in this game, I don't know about these controls, bro. Because uh, you be fighting them dogs and you be getting jab locked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Yo, and then can't. especially, like, the redheads. They bring back the redheads, obviously. Yeah. And, uh... They definitely show no mercy. You'd be getting frame trapped in like corners and stuff. Oh, <laughs> dude, I came through a door one time and there were two redheads and they were just like, wop. And I was like, well, that's that's OTK right there, guys. That's one <laughs> like, touch. You, you literally can't do anything but like uh, die. Resident, Resident Evil is like um, you died. Resident Evil is like a it's like a game franchise that like it rolled with the punches like for a while because there were some games that were like unfavored. Go oh, Veronica. Man. Co <laughs> Co 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 Veronica. That game was garbage. Yeah, <laughs> Co was Veronica. Garbage. So right? bad. And then of like uh and then they, they brought it back with RE4 and they're like, yo, this is crazy. Leon Candy is out here. Oh, Busting shots, man. Like, yeah. All these, all these people, the villagers are crazy. They're out to get you and stuff like that. And uh, Did you ever play the new one? Uh, that is literally RE7. Aside from Dead Space 2, RE7 was the scariest shit I've ever played. I want to play that game in VR. If anybody has Remember a VR headset it? with it at home, I n I need to get in Remember that. We're playing it in the dark, and all of us were terrified. Like no. at your house. Bro, <laughs> welcome that, to the family, son. No, bro. <laughs> that, like, that, ah! like, like they had so they great. had uh they had just th they had three protagonists in the game, but it's just like when you're in the house, it's just like Jack Baker. Nothing. He is the house. He you couldn't get away from him, this, man. This dude is like literally like coming out of hallways like boo. Like no, bro. This man is going through like, walls. Going through oh yeah, going through wall, the wall. Dude. I think you and I both screamed so loud whenever he went through that. Don't be telling people that. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was so great. And this man was like, uh, he was like, like kicking down doors. You, you doing him. stuff at Resident Evil games we had never seen before. No, yeah, Usually you walk different. through a wall or a door or something like that. And it's like, all right. Danger's over. This guy, danger's not over, son. <laughs> this dude is like literally different. just going through everything. But like, this is this Resident Evil series is like a series that's really like roll with the punches. There've been like a couple of bad games: Resident Evil, Code Veronica, Resident Evil Six. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> but like now they're on the up and up. There's Resident Evil Seven, and then they got Resident Evil Two remake coming out, which is like. And then you know if they're doing two, then they, three has to be a, doing. Three, three is the one, boys. Cause Three is the Nemesis one. Nemesis is so dope, dude. Oh, my Seeing God. Seeing that new Nemesis. If, if the new game, because the new game gave me chills. If I sit back in the house and I'm relaxing, have a drink or two, and sit in the dark and play some RE1 remake, I'm kind of kind of on my edge yeah, just a bro. little bit. So I can't wait until Nemesis starts coming through walls like Jack. It's going to be over. Yeah. You it's know which remake I liked? What? It's going to be a movie. So I like the Halloween 2007 Rob Zombie remake. Thank like, you. That Thank you, was, Jesus. If we're talking about spooky things. That movie I liked. And I liked it for a very particular reason. I liked that they actually made Michael, like, have a story. Like, he wasn't just this random person. He was this person exactly. that came in. Like, so you're like, oh, okay. So you get to see him as a kid. He's like this. Okay. He's not some random dude that's like, dun, 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 I dun, gotta dun. kill you. Gotta like it kill made you. it scarier to me because it gave him more of a like, a human side it too. It gave him a human side, so it made him more terrifying versus this random fake like, creature unstoppable that killer up. slash Superman killer or something. Yeah, like it made get you hit by a car at fifty miles an hour. <laughs> the banjo's making this face over here. I hope he is. I'm not trying to make the I'm same not. face. <laughs> so like, I liked it. I didn't. Uh, it I did too, Linda. The Halloween collection in general, I've never been a big fan of. Like, <laughs> I like slasher films a lot, but for a slasher film, I I can appreciate what it did. Or the original did for like back in the day. Yeah, it kind of set a precedent like for the rest of them. Slashers to me aren't scary. I'm like they're not terrifying. It's just something to put on. 
but this one Rob Zombie yeah Rob Zombie the music was good the characters you felt had, the tension yeah the characters had like a story to them you had a just tie to them they, the, they just weren't random body cannon fodder the editing for the movie was just really good <laughs> <laughs> It was a good movie. Yes, please. <laughs> please capture the salt forever digitally. That's the face of a man who likes the new Halloween and not Rob Zombies because of reasons. This movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like that the fact that they're treating this like uh like this man like he has a human side. He it to me in a movie like this. So you want the indiscriminate killer. Let me finish. In a movie like this, I feel like Having an origin, like, in Halloween, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he has an origin, right? It, like, he's, like, alien, dude. Like no So one, you wanted the same cookie-cutter story? No, I don't want the same. It's not like that, I want yeah, the same cookie-cutter story. It's the fact that, like, they're, like, treating this as something, like, it's not. It's so we're going to ignore that Michael Myers had a childhood. You're just, yeah, you don't, he, just, you're, he was, just, who, he was just born a killer. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. I mean, he, he technically had, was born a killer. I was about to say, what are you talking about? I don't care. But then that. you only know that because we had a backstory laid by Rob Zombie. I don't No know. other film even glimpsed into why he may have even wanted to do that. So the original. Why would anyone. They saw him as a kid okay. killing, right? So yeah. Like, so you knew that he was like messed up from a childhood, right? But you never knew why. Like he's just like, I'm just standing outside with this little knife and everyone. Like, oh, no, as, as, because as a, as a killer, oh as a killer, bro, you, why why do I care about the origin? This dude is after me. I don't care that he had a bad childhood. He's here. So let's look at this then. Did you not care for Freddy Krueger's backstory either? Did you just want to just jump into a world where this dude was just jumping into your dreams and killing you with nothing else? Would you have would you have let that fly? That's a better question at Banjo Plays Banjo. What? Then, ask him on Twitter. Twitter fiends at Banjo Plays Banjo. Would you accept <laughs> Freddy to be the same way? Hit him with the tweets. I feel like that is very, very minuscule, which is why they made it so in those movies. But that wasn't really a slasher film, though, too. That was yeah, like a, yeah, that was yeah, a unique more, style. Yeah, that was more of a monster. That was more of a... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Freddy was a way better movie franchise anyway. Like, uh, well, uh, you're going to say Nightmare on Elm Street is better than... It's not better than Halloween? Well, I mean, what movies are we counting? Because there were, there were, okay, Nightmare on Elm Street did have some stinkers. Okay, so do you like They have some stink ones, like too, but the track run. Okay, so, okay. So we're talking slashers, Jason or Michael, like. Definitely Jason. Jason, yeah, so Jason. Jason. Yeah, Jason that's, even with that's him going free. to space, that's free. <laughs> <laughs> even with him going to space, that's free as hell, guys. <laughs> like, like, I will still watch a Jason flare. In fact, I will watch Jason X. Over this trash, listen, but not this one, listen, not this one, the listen, other trash, the new trash. Listen, the new trash. Jason, oh. Jason goes to hell the final Friday. This trash, this is a comedy. This is trash. And, can I, we make and, that? I, and I will, and <laughs> I will explain why this movie, this movie is dope. They take an introspective look into the mythos between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, right? Laurie Strode, right? Her life has basically been shaped by this man Halloween. This might as well, this man Halloween, this man Michael Myers. This might as well be like. I got the notes, guys. This right. might as well be like a direct sequel to the original one, right? And I think it was a very interesting take of how uh, Lori Strode and her life was basically obsessed over Michael Myers and the what was going to happen when Michael Myers returned. So, let's so you go let, ahead. Let and me go. give you an example of bad acting. And pacing, right? Let, let me show you something. I've seen Halloween right, too, okay, so, so I, I don't know how you're going to top. I haven't seen uh, the I, new I'm not going to give too much away. I'm going to ask about this Halloween one scene. Halloween 2 is hot garbage, so I feel like you really have to do some bad stuff to, like, this is, to be worse this is than bad. 2K. This is bad. This is, this is not terrible. It's bad. This is a, very uh, good, this is a pretty good movie. Let, let me ask you something. Well, go ahead. One, one scene, guys. One scene in particular. And then I, I won't even – I'll drop it. I'll even fa I'll even save that review for my own channel. Okay. But I gotta ask you something, right? Uh, all right. Okay. So, chubby friend and girl are walking. Chubby friend gets hung on gate. Yeah. She comes back to check on chubby friend. Looks at chubby friend. Does not scream or show any emotion. And then when Michael presents himself, that's when she screams and runs. Bro. You, you don't want to scream that you just saw your best friend not five minutes ago, not five minutes ago, and now he's murdered, hung on a gate, and you have no reaction. Bro, that's a deer in the headlights thing, bro. She was shot. Done. Done. She, but the, she, but she, Michael she, she broke shocked. the shock to make her scream. Because 
she realized that, oh, this man is actually real. Did she know? What, what, what made it real? Him stepping out or the dude hung on a gate? Him stepping out. She didn't know oh, who did a, it. a person she being hung on a gate. It. A person being hung on a gate wasn't real enough for her. She was in shock because first initial reaction was like, why? And then Michael Myers showed up and she was like, oh, that's why okay. she's real. And oh. then she screamed. Okay, I got one more for you then. One more. Kay. One more. I'm ready. Girl runs out. Instead of going directly to the police, she runs to the forest. Of course, and that's then where we, you always run. Hold on, hold on. But check this out. Check this out. No one sees her for like literally the next like 10, 15 minutes on screen. We just assume that she ran off in a general direction. On the middle of the road. Tell me why this character just so happens to meet up with the rest of the party at the end of the movie. That's a movie trope. That's a movie trope. They were gonna you know what that's also called? Bad writing. I, I knew he was going to say the, the whole lazy writing trope. Okay. Listen, it was a, it's, it's a movie trope, bro. Okay. okay. Every, so every, I, every movie has I'll it. save the rest for my channel, guys. There's going to be a whole review up As of the whole every movie. movie every, every movie has it, and you know that. As a person that hasn't seen the new one, uh, I do have the question. Rob Zombies didn't have so it. I've heard, I've heard you guys talk about the new one, um, and it sounds like the story actually has, because you said it's about Lori. It sounds like it actually has a story, like oh. about a character, and there's details to her, like oh. the Rob Zombie one. So, <sighs> it's the, so, boring. so is this not a slasher film? It's so boring. This is, is it not? Is it a lot of storyline? This which is, makes this it? No, this there's is a lot of bitch. no plot development, boring as space with characters that we don't even ever see again, nor do they even get killed. They're introduced and do nothing. They don't even get killed. There's a handful of characters, guys, and if you watch this movie, you're going to see what I'm talking how about. You, really how? paying attention. We on the subject of remakes, reboots, right? How do you feel about The Last Jedi? Right now, you, you look at the camera and you tell them how you feel about The Last Jedi right now. Because if you feel the way you feel about The Last Jedi, then I can... Are you guys ready? Are go, you guys ready? Go ahead. Yes. Rogue One was a better movie and there I said it. It was. It was definitely... That's the end of it. I knew it, dude. That's the end of it. I knew it. I knew it, dude. I knew it. Yeah. Because yeah. because uh, cause, like he doesn't he doesn't like getting his 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 perceptions challenged on, on some shit like this. What? That's what, <laughs> that's what that's what this is. I don't like watching bad movies. I can sit and do a Last Jedi review, too, and tell you what, that movie is hot garbage. Ooh, ooh, please let me do it. You want me to do it? You I mean, it? I, mean I, I don't care about The Last Jedi. I'm just I, I just want to know what your take on Solo movie, though? That's I have not seen it yet. I've heard it's really good. Any movie, don't spoil any, it. Any, don't movie, spoil any movie with the hero Donald Glover in it is a good movie. Even uh, He should have been Spider-Man. Lion King coming up soon? Yeah. yeah. He, he should have been Spider Man. You know what? And you know what? Speaking of remakes, I'm down for that remake. I am not down for the Aladdin get up, but I am down for everything going correctly with the Lion King. Everything is flowing very correctly though, and smoothly. Even though uh, Simba is not going to be into Nala? Um, you know what? They can take those liberties with the story because that's like that a was porno. That was porn. I mean, in that in that ninety two movie, that was porn. I mean, they make an entire like. That was porn. He laughed because he's true. An actual <laughs> sequel. <laughs> it's it's based porno. Look, like a lot of the old Disney movies had a, a lot of innuendos and things that weren't meant for kids that we've only now seen as adults. So I think Disney did a great job with not influencing us as young people. They, they made a line, you no, dude. I don't like that. I hope they don't. <laughs> I hope they don't. I hope they don't do it again. But uh, yeah, I'm not worried about the Lion King. Yeah, Literally, three the three best Disney movies that are about to be remade: uh, Lion King, uh, Mulan, M Mulan, and then of course uh, Lord Hercules. And so, I'm I'm totally down with like because they said Mulan might be like a kung fu flick. It yeah, is, bro, I'm totally I am down totally down for that. Totally down for that. Can I get Lucy Liu to be like my Mulan? No, they already have a Mulan. They picked a Mulan. And she's it's actually, not Lucy Liu. She's actually like no, Mu no. Lucy Liu's technically too old to be Mulan. Shut your mouth. But she the, the girl they cho they chose to be Mulan is like an actual kung fu like. Movie. Like she's a chore She's China. a choreographer. Yeah, she's an like actual. China. She's an actual. And Lucy Liu has been waifu for years, so I, you shut your mouth. I understand that, right but now. it's it's not 2001. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like comments from both of y'all. Really, really, really. well, I, I understand where you're coming from, but it's just, just cut like, them out of the camera angle and put just me. You so know I what? Can I'm not review. excited about the. There's a cartoon Grinch coming out, and I'm like. I heard that Tyler, the creator, will actually be doing the. Uh, 
the yeah. soundtrack for it. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, yes. he's so dark. Yes. How the and that's why they're taking a new spin on the Grinch, and I kind of like it. Listen, Tyler the Creator, like I he, love Tyler the Creator. Oh, Benedict Cumberbatch is gonna be the Grinch. Doctor Strange is gonna be the Grinch. I, I just remember that. that. So, I just so I'm ready for it. Tyler and and Doctor Strange, Doctor Tyler. I can, I can that mess with actually that. sounds that, dope. That, now that, that you guys dope. told me that, I'm actually in. Yeah, now you're ready, huh? Yeah, but now that, she's ready. Because I watched the trailer and I didn't like the animation, and I was like, you know what? We already had a Grinch. And it it's going to be really in a different Grinch style, and it's not Jim Carrey. I was about to say, yeah, who's your Grinch? Is it like the, the original, like old school, like no, 19. No, I love Jim Carrey as a that Grinch. That 1950s Grinch or that. Ah, uh, that was a little too much or, for me. <laughs> the movie Grinch was kind of. That movie's kind of OD, bro. Yeah, that movie was. When very they sit him in that chair and like feed that man pudding for like 30 minutes. No, you guys were talking about sexualness. Like, that was definitely had a lot of that had a lot of innuendos in it, yeah. So but it was kind of like almost creepy innuendos. Yeah. It's Jim Carrey. Just imagine like liar, liar. Me, yeah, yeah. The Grinch, yeah, meets bro. Pornhub. See, see <laughs> I, I. I <laughs> 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 look, look, look. It's this is this is a family movie. It, it's Christmas. Like the Grinch movie looks not looks dope. Like uh, what was that movie? Uh. Robin Hood. I don't know how many times Ooh, they're gonna. The I don't know King. how many times they're gonna make this movie. I don't know how many times. You God know what's the bad? Robin Hood is one. It's like one of my favorites. So I'm excited. Who's your Robin? I hate J- Jamie Foxx is in this too. Uh, my what? my Robin Hood is probably my Robin Hood. I mean, there's only one Robin Hood. If you don't get it right the first time, you're done. Is it that dude like Men in Tights Robin Hood? Yes. yes yeah. Men in That's the only Robin, Robin Hood. Yeah. Men in Tights. Where that that movie <laughs> was godlike. Where that man had the multi arrow and whatnot. Oh uh, yeah, Joseph Tennessee is the. Oh no, Otto Bathurst. Hey, click that. I want to see. I yeah. want to see. What, is, what <laughs> does a man named Otto Bathos look like? Okay. Like a ginger. Otto. Ooh, ooh he worked on uh, the first he looks ever. He familiar. Yeah. He directed the first ever Black Mirror episode. So he's a newbie. That sucks because the first episode of Black Mirror sucks. He's a newbie. It's he, bad. He did Peaky. He did Peaky Blinders. Okay. He's a newbie. I don't All like right. this uh, this poster for it. It's kind of garbage. I don't like his movie credentials being shown to me. Those are horrible. Yeah, I see nowhere on the here. The second, so if you had told me the Hustle. second episode of Black Mirror he directed, if, 50 Million Merits, that's my jam. Then I would have actually vouched I for feel him. Like but that pig episode was I dumb. I like Vince lied to us. Bro. The, the nas- pig episode is horrible. Yes, nas- I'm saying The equality. national anthem episode is, our d- is garbage. Dope. Is dope, It's dude. bad. That's a good episode. That and Metalhead are probably like the worst. <gasps> Metalhead was bad. Yes. Oh my god, dude. I, are spooky. you serious? Yeah. Spooky things. Black Mirror, though. Black Mirror. I is only watched a couple episodes. Spoopy. And they were. Spooky. Oh, Hill on. Uh, before I give Banjo an aneurysm, we'll talk about this later. Uh, House on Haunted Hill. Is that dope or what? Yes. Okay. I'm up. up um, I'm on episode two. I just watched episode two last night. Wait, okay, so you're talking about the the, the show. Netflix the Netflix show, okay. not the movie. Not uh, I, I did say yeah, House, on House on Haunted Hill. Haunted Hill. That, uh, uh, haunting that of Hill House. House. Yeah, yeah. They are two different things, oh. guys. Sorry. I actually like that old movie, by the I way. Do too. I really House on Haunted movie. Hill is really good. It's really old. If you haven't seen it, yeah. go watch it. It's oh good. yeah, it's oh. the one with uh, Vincent oh, Price. You know what I it. watched over the weekend with Royale? Tales from the Hood. Bro, that movie's dope. It held up so well, too, by the way, guys. So if you've never heard of Tales from the Hood, it's basically Goosebumps meets Tales from the Crypt black style, though. Yeah, like, that. really hood version of it. But it's really good. It's it's held up through the test of time. I showed someone who had never seen them before. There are four stories in total that make up the entire movie, four different stories, and they loved it. Yeah, it's, it's a great film, and especially since from when it came out to right now, it's held up. It's really good. In fact, I, I, I rewatched it like I had never seen it before. In fact, I had forgotten some of the finer details of some of the stories, and it made it even worth watching all over it in a again. Bro, years. Tales so from the Hood. Don't do number two. There is a yeah. Netflix <laughs> two that will trick you. So you're going to go to Netflix, right? You're going to be like, Tales from the Hood. It's going to pop up with two. Don't watch that yeah, one. Don't, don't do that. That's mm-hmm. not what I'm recommending. Yeah. You're going to be like, Chaos, you recommended it. That's a bad thing. I didn't recommend that. I'm openly telling you, don't do it. So if you subject your eyes to that, I don't want to hear it. At a windburn. I don't want to hear it. It's a garbage movie. But the first one. Yeah. And even Banjo's backing me up on this. Yeah, and and this man doesn't really know too many th- good things, but this man's backing me on this. Hey, this yeah. man watched Halloween Remake 
2007. And it was better. It was a it was garbage good. movie. It was good. It was good. Was was Thank you, Lindy Jar. See, it was yeah. trash. Birthday Girl has spoken. You yeah. don't go against Birthday Girl. Also, it's her Never. birthday, guys, on yeah. Wednesday. Shoot her something on Twitter. Tweet her. Happy birthday. Somebody back me up on this in the forum, please. Somebody no. say that Halloween 2007 no. is bad. No. Someone say it. Someone say this in the forum, Michael please. Michael was way better. Okay. It, it just is. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, we all have stuff to do. And so. it's spooky. It's Spooktober. So we got things to do and yeah. spook people. But this has been Chaos Overdrive. Lindy Jar. Uh, banjo. When we're gone, you better you better hit end. Hit. Okay. See, we're just going <laughs> to. All right. Click, get, 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 get. Did you send shots? <laughs> <laughs> Every direction? <laughs> 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 That's how we exit send out. Send them up. Send them up. Yeah, we exit out doing it. We're doing that. Send them yeah. up. Buy Red Dead Redemption <laughs> 2 for the uh, Don't do it. For the PlayStation it's 4. It's just horses. 